I have seen you puttering about town before, and quite busily at that, seeking rumors and ghosts and all manner of snooping. Just what have you been up to, hmm? The magistrate has a right to know. Is that what all this hustle and bustle was about? <laughs> My friend, we are perfectly capable of mounting a defense. Our guards are the finest in Eternum. Why not rest a while? Perhaps leave some coin at our fine establishments? <laughs> Help it over here, you talking to that magistrate fellow. It's a waste of time talking to such jack and apes. Their power is getting others to do things, not doing it themselves. I've heard the constable here in Oxborough came from the old Roman Empire centuries in the past. Some say she's gone a little soft in the head, <laughs> but maybe that means she'll take you serious. <laughs> Ever since you went in search of your huntress, I've been plying everyone with a modicum of power to do something, anything to prepare themselves for war. Oh, I confess, I am near to the end of my wits. The fact that you are still standing here suggests there's something you haven't told me. If it's about the corrupted coming, I already know. But uh, these others, <laughs> they won't understand the danger until it's too late. Oh, <sighs> Can such a thing exist? It feels too good to be true. Here we are, teetering on the edge of disaster, and you conveniently have the answer? Sorry, but uh, I've patrolled the streets of Oxborough long enough to know this ruse. The Soul Wardens? Well, I've heard stories, but not in any context which would give me hope. <laughs> but, uh, by all means, if you want to battle the corrupted, you'll find them at the farms to the north. Eh... Uh, I won't be holding my breath. Oh, my God. 
shall see the faces of those who've accepted the power and they will know the destiny of the land is already decided
your fist to this stormy sky. If you must, you are small, insignificant. But you do not have to remain so. Give in and join us. Ah, the staff has done its work. I can taste it in the air. Consecrated crown will repel the corrupted for a time. I'd say you were born to be a soul warden. If that wants such a tragic notion. Oh yes, a side effect of the process. Like it or not, you'll be able to taste corruption soon too. Like a rotten tooth, sweet with decay, followed by an aftertaste of blood. It quite ruins dessert, I'm afraid. Don't say I didn't warn you now, but you get used to it. Sort of. There is just one more thing you need before you can be anointed as a soul warden. A hot gym. A vessel you'll use to encase your soul, protect it, a cold vault within your chest. And the place you'll have to go to get one is a cold vault in the earth, beneath the Amarine Temple. It was once a sacred vault, but long abandoned even during my prime. Now, an excavation. It's the only place I know to get an empty hot gem. You'll need your staff to gain entry. Good luck. It's true then. Simon Gray became lost. His soul never able to be repaired. It's very sad. His research was groundbreaking. And I will use the Antiquarian's eyepiece to honor his legacy. Thank you. Look at that! An empty heart gem. Almost brings a tear to my eye. Take a good look, because this thing is going to become part of you forever. A soul warden's power comes from creating distance in your soul, like a firebreak in the forest. The heart gem provides that barrier. Inuring your soul against corruption. Not entirely. You can still fall to temptation or rage, but it offers protection, a buffer. Sadly, it also buffers against the taste of food, the warmth of sunlight, the love of another. Are you sure you're ready? Oh, that part is simple. Easier than it was, at least. You just have to... die. Once again, I can't hold your hand, but my spirit is with you, and I will see you on the other side. Godspeed. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Severed. Welcome back, Soul Warden. You are now part of a legacy that goes back beyond the reach of history. You have done more than surrender a life. You have surrendered your own soul. I salute your sacrifice. The initiation of a new Soul Warden once called for a feast attended by the entire Order. But with just the two of us, I suspect it would make for a rather dull affair. Yes, we must find allies as well. We needed to repeat the failed experiment of doing this alone. Such fools we were, to turn away those who sought to support us. Arrogance. The childish notion we were special. That we alone were destined to save the world. There was a priest who warned us, counseled humility, but we refused his suggestions and his support. Hmm. A suitable start, I suppose. Brother Umberto trudged off to Brightwood, as I recall. It's a dark and dead forest now, but perhaps he remains there. Meet me at the Shadow Mine Shrine, and we'll go from there. I hoped time would bring new life to Brightwood, but it remains as dreary as it was two centuries ago. The order was long gone by the time the darkness descended here. No. It was the cold curse of this soulless lost that brought misery to Brightwood. If Umberto was even still here by that time, then he may well have departed. That we must discover. I heard Umberto was ministering to the town of Walsham. Now but a haunted remnant of what it was then. I will leave the investigation to your youthful vigor and meet you north of town. Good hunting, Warden.
It is with the utmost urgency and discretion that I author this note. Out of respect for your seniority in Walsham, I choose not to challenge you publicly, but I am disappointed nonetheless. These poor lost souls who have wandered into town may seem to have lost their humanity, but is this not the test of our faith? The decision to bury them seems to me a decision to... <laughs>
It is plain now that ignoring my concerns has cost this town dearly. Even the most faithful are on the verge of despair. And as we've seen, that seems to be the true source of this soulless plague. Our prayers and efforts to bury these tragic events are making things worse. This tragedy unfold. I am told of a fateful night which sides west in Ballard's manor. Sir Galahad, I will seek him out, and if Providence affords, I will return with the hope and the strength to save our town, Brother Umberto. It appears the town fell to the lost, primarily from within. No signs of any defense. I wonder if Brother Umberto sought aid from somewhere else. Sir Galahad, eh? The shining knight from the court of King Artorius himself. An honorable warrior, as I recall, but a bit squeamish regarding the requirements of becoming a soul warden. Many of the King's Knights joined the Arda, but of course, you know what happened to them. Galahad remained at Artorius' side, and now that I hear the name, I do recall hearing he resurfaced after the war. Hmm. Some say King Artorius fell during the war, others say he fled, and there were even whispers that he turned. Perhaps Galahad can shed light on the fates of both the King and Brother Umberto. Yes, there are a few townships and manors that way if they have not fallen lost like Walsham. You go on ahead. I want to do a little scouting to the north. It's time I pull my own weight. I'll catch up. 